Ladies, 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 I'm here on the schnee, I'm here on the schnee, and a little bit of NFL news I want to talk about, some, uh, just a little bit of NFL stuff I wanted to go over. And the Packers wide receiver, Christian Watson, was ruled out of the game earlier tonight versus the Bills with a concussion. Um, it's a big loss to their Singapore for the game tonight, so they're already getting destroyed. They're, they only got four receivers out there, I think, tonight, so it's a big loss early. Uh, Cooper Cup got hurt in the game today. It was an ankle. Uh, Sean McVay says he thinks his ankle was the injury, but isn't sure. Said he's kicking himself for Cup being in and not calling to run the ball. Yeah, in that game, that type of situation, you're already down by that much. Or, do you have nothing to gain by keeping your starter receiver out there getting injured and can miss, possibly miss some time, which would be really bad for that Rams offense that really relies on Cooper Cup. So it's definitely not a smart decision keeping Cooper Cup in the game and injuring his ankle and he could miss some time. Uh, some more news. Eagles first round defensive tackle Jordan Davis is believed to have suffered a high ankle sprain based on the initial exam, source said. Those are generally four to six week injuries, but he'll have an MRI to, MRI to determine his time frame. So that's going to be a lot, big loss for the Eagles defensive line, literally. Jordan Davis is a monster. And that sucks. He was having a pretty good start to his, to his rookie year, and he's going to miss four to six weeks, but most, most likely these type of injuries... Luckily, it's not like a severe season-ending injury. It's only an ankle sprain. So, he's only going to be out possibly four to six weeks. So, but they'll have an MRI to determine, like, his time frame. Uh, some, so, we have some trade notes. Uh, the Steelers aren't expected to deal Chase Claypool. So, I mean, it makes sense, I guess, because it's one of their receivers they're going to maybe have for in their young core. But I think they, I, I still don't buy it. I think they're going to trade him to a team that really wants to trade for the receiver. I really think they're going to trade Chase, Chase Claypool, along with DJ Moore and Brandon Cooks going to be on the market. Uh, the Bucks don't expect major changes. I mean, I don't know what changes they can make at this point of the season. You're going to stick with what you have at this point if you're Tampa Bay. Uh, the Texans have held trade talks around Brandon Cooks, and we talked about how he could be one of the receivers Dale at the trade deadline, which I could easily see happening. Um, Patriots could deal could, could deal wide receiver, potentially Nelson Aguilar. And Nelson Aguilar has been pretty good these last few years, so I think a team that can want a wide receiver three or four could go out there and pick up Nelson Aguilar for cheap, giving a light, giving up a late round draft pick, which I which I personally would do. I mean, he's been pretty good these last few years. Um, the running, the good news for Ravens running back Gus Edwards' and hamstring injury he suffered on Thursday is described as a minor, as a minor injury. Source said if he misses time, it's just likely a week. So that's good news for uh, Ravens fans. The Gus Bus had a good game against the Buccaneers, and fortunately, it's just a minor hamstring injury. So if he misses uh, any time, it'll just be a week, most likely. So very fortunate there. Uh, the Broncos are getting trade calls on pass rusher Bradley Chubb, among others, among others, but they are currently inclined to keep their star unless they are blown away by an offer. I could see Bradley Chubb getting dealt because I just don't think the Broncos are going to get any better this year, and it, I don't, I just don't, I, but I don't see them rebuilding either way. They're kind of just stuck in mediocrity. Uh, with the NFL trade deadline. Um, NFL's trade deadline looming on Tuesday. Let's take a look at the biggest names who could be dealt. The biggest, the big names who won't go anywhere, or like who's like sailing or whatever. Um, Alvin Kamara is a name I, I've heard. Um, Kareem Hunt, Bradley Chubb is also some names. Josh Allen of the Jaguars. Uh, Ian Rappaport put quote in the in the quote tweet. Brandon Cooks, Brian Burns, Chase, Clay, Clay, Chase Claypool. The most likely out of these, I think, is Chase Claypool and Brandon Cooks. I think any of these names get, could get traded, but I don't see the Jaguars trading Josh Allen. Here's the a tweet. R Rappaport, Jacksonville's got a lot of calls about, about Allen. The number seven overall pick in the 2019 draft. But while the interest from teams wanting him has been there, the Jaguars are not expected to be able to stand out pass rusher. I don't know why the Jaguars would trade him anyway. anyways. I know you're getting calls, but one of your up and one of your star pass rushers, it's just not worth trading them. But anyways, back to 
Like, Alan Kamara, maybe to the Eagles. The Eagles are willing to get that first-round pick back, I believe. But I wouldn't. I know it's Alan Kamara, but you already got a good running... You already got a good... already got a really good team. Um... See if I find some more news. At the NFL, find Jaguars linebacker Foye Olukamu, $15,914 for roughing Giants QB. Daniel Jones last week wiping out an interception. So, $15,914 fine for him. Bears defense lineman Mike Pinnell is fined $6,222 for unnecessary roughness for the illegal blindside block on hashtag Patriots Center. David Andrews, I looked at Pinnell's at Jackson last week, and he ended up in concussion protocol to David Andrews. So, why are they fine uh, to me? Uh, an illegal blindside block caused him to end from the concussion protocol. Uh, the, uh, the Bengals will not put Jamar Chase on uh, injured reserve. He's week to week with a complete with a complex hip injury, but no hour gives him at least a chance to return before four weeks. So this gives him a chance to return before four weeks. Um, they just signed their client. The Browns just signed uh, Brett Tesler's client, Charlie Hugh Layett, to a four-year extension, largest signing bonus guarantee, and overall value in the league history for a long snapper. Uh, they gave him a guarantee of $1.952 million with a signing bonus of $865,000. Uh, the Bucks have lost Shaq Barrett, Shaquille Barrett for the season. Um, it's a torn Achilles, so he's out for the year. Um, Tom Brady and uh, Giselle, uh, he he announced they finalized their divorce two days ago. Uh, court, court, or, um, uh, let's find some more news. Yeah, that's really it for the news I want to talk about, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, until next time, Alpha Life. Peace.